everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> my folks just squealed. Um, I haven't uploaded in quite some time and I'm going to tell you why. But um, I look crazy because I only have my lashes and my eyebrows on right now. But that's because I'm going to the hair salon today and I have to wear a mask the whole time. So, as you can probably tell, my hair is going through it. Like, I, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I have this brilliant idea to bleach my hair and put like a blue purple mixture on it. Well, what had happened was that didn't happen. So I don't understand exactly what happened because my hair was almost completely grown out to natural hair. I haven't dyed my hair in seven months. Um, I also haven't used box dye on my hair in over two years. I've only like gone to Sally's and gotten like the proper type of hair dye. Um, so let me tell you a little bit what happened. So the last time I dyed my hair, it was in November and I dyed it black. Okay, so if I were to put my hair up like this, you know, like a half up half thing, this is the only thing that still held on to the color. You know, this section was the only section in my hair that was like, I'm holding on to this freaking color. And my natural hair color, it grows out super light from the roots, obviously. I feel like that's kind of almost everybody unless you have just straight black hair. My hair is like a dirty brown, light brown type of hair. But anyways, so, it would grow out like really, really blonde to about here. And then it grew out to like a light brown. It was really hard to tell on camera just how brown it was, but it was really, really light. Um, so what I did was I took the back half that I had dyed black and I did a bleach wash on it with 30 volume developer, which would dilute it to like a 20 or 10, somewhere around there, you know? So I did a bleach wash on that half of my head and it didn't really, it lightened it, but it was still not where it needed to be to take color. So then I decided to let that dry and then I would just bleach my whole head, which I did with my 30 volume developer. I bleached my whole head. Um, I didn't leave it on for very, very long because I have fried my hair a couple years ago, like completely fried it from root to end. It was awful never want to do that again so i was like really really cautious about putting bleach on my hair because hello i don't want to mess it up again and go through all of that so my hair was in a really 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 healthy place because it had grown out and i kept getting the ends trimmed up every couple months you know there was still some spots in my hair that were like they were still a little bit rough you know there's a section back here that was still fried but it was just at the ends um, that I hadn't gotten cut off yet. So it's, it's like this section right here, as you can tell, it's kind of like crispy, you know? So anyways, so I bleached my hair after the bleach wash and then rinsed it all out. Um, and then I started laying the color on it. Well, I always see people mixing their color with conditioner and I was like, that's probably really good because you know, it conditions your hair as it's chilling in there, you know, whatever. It goes longer, it goes a long way. Well, I think I might have used too much conditioner because my hair, when I put it on, I used a dark blue. I used Arctic Fox Poseidon. Um, I know it's not the darkest blue, but it's still a pretty dark blue. And I put that in there um, mixed with Neverland because I wanted like a bluey green color at first. At first I wanted a bluey green color. So I put that all on there with the conditioner and it was just not adhering to my hair like at all except for my roots obviously that's where it's going to stick the most. So just my roots and the you know the top right here are the only things that took the color and they did not take them well at all. They were not vibrant. They they just looked like crap. They looked like I had my hair like that 
for a couple months, you know, you have colored hair and you keep washing it and eventually it's going to like fade and kind of get all yucky looking. That's what it looked like. It didn't stay vibrant. So I was assuming it was because I used too much conditioner, which that's on me. I'll take that. Um, so then what I did was I bought a bigger bottle of Poseidon. I have very, very thick hair. So I take my hair just eats up color. Um, so I bought a big bottle of Poseidon and then I bought a big bottle of Electric Paradise because they didn't have Purple Rain. So I mixed those two together to make like the perfect purple shade and the shade was beautiful. It was so freaking pretty, oh my God. And then so I decided to put that all over my head. And keep in mind when I am doing my hairs, my hairs, when I'm putting color on and stuff, I am doing it, doing it with my hair dry. I'm not doing it wet or anything. So I put that all over my head and it seemed to be working better than what it was before. You know, it was actually purple. It was sticking to my roots really well. It just, it looked promising, okay? So I kept that on there for about 45 minutes and um, I went and rinsed it out and this is what I got. Okay, let me let me explain my situation here. Okay, so my hair didn't like my hair didn't lighten platinum. Of course, it just it didn't. Um, I was too afraid to keep bleaching and all that. Like I'm not gonna do that again. Um, but it lightened a lot, and my hair would not take the color only at my roots and my ends and only on some of my ends like these ends they took the color but they took the blue they didn't take the purple and then over here I let my hair air dry overnight um, so it's like really really crazy right now but only my ends really took the color and then my roots I've washed my hair a couple times now um, so like there's still some residual blue in there and this section you know from here to here is my natural hair color i bleached this it lifted amazing like if i had let my hair grow out to be completely natural and i wanted to go platinum blonde i probably could you know it just natural hair just lifts so much better but it didn't take the color and I don't understand why because this was my natural hair it bleached the lightest out of all of my hair except for my roots of course and it didn't take the color I don't know why that's never happened to me before so my hair is doing like this weird thing where it's like no no you think you want to do this but you don't so I just I don't understand because I have gone from box black hair dye, layers and layers of box black hair dye, and I've, you know, bleached the bottom half of my hair, like at least this much, with black, you know, I had black hair dye, bleached this much, only one time, put Arctic Fox's Purple Rain on top of it, and it stuck, and it was vibrant. So I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm not saying like it's Arctic Fox's fault at all. I love that brand and everything. Um, I just don't understand what's happening to my hair right now. So um, this is what we're working with and this is why I have not filmed. I did this um, about a week ago and I was like, ooh, I'm going to do my hair, it's going to be blue and purple, it's going to be beautiful, and I'm going to go on my channel, and I'm going to be like, look at my new hair. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> so that's why I haven't filmed or anything, because this is what's going on, and um, it's not cute. I know it's just hair, but I feel like if you're not feeling confident somewhere with what's going on with yourself, nothing's going to come out right. I mean, at least that's how it works with me. If I'm having a bad hair day, my makeup's gonna come out like shit. If I'm having a shit makeup day, my hair's gonna come out like shit. Like it just, that's how my mind works. I don't know why. Oh, my hands are blue because I did my friend's hair yesterday. 
her hair came out, I will say, we did three different blues from Arctic Box. We did the deepest, deepest blue, which is I think like blue jean baby, and then we did Poseidon, and then we put periwinkle on the tips of her hair. Came out amazing. Her hair took the color like nothing. But her hair was like really blonde anyways, so I don't know. I, I don't get it. But anyways, um, I wanted to take you guys along with me for this transformation because I'm completely transforming my hair. Um, just to give you guys a little hint, I'm chopping it off. So my hair is pretty long now. I mean, it's been longer. This isn't the longest my hair's been. But it goes right up to the start of my chicharrones. It's, you know, right there. Um, it's just time. I need to cut it off. I always regret it when I do, and then, I don't know, but I feel like I just, I need to cut it off. I need a fresh start. I just, I need a transformation because I've always hated my hair. I've always gotten it to a point where I'm like, okay with it, you know, I'm like, oh, this is fine, but I've never been like, yes, my freaking hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've never been proud to just whisk my hair around. Except for when I was growing it out after I fried it and my hair was so soft and it was long and it was healthy. My hair's still healthy, like, it's not bad or anything, it's just the ends. You know, the ends are just a little crispy. But, um, anyways, I'm going to shut up because I have to get dressed and get ready to go to the salon. And I'm gonna try and film in there. Uh, I probably won't film too, too much because it's just awkward, okay? Well, I'm just going to throw it out there. I've never filmed in public, so it's going to be a little awkward. But anyways, I will see you guys at the salon. Legitimately feels like noodles, like rice noodles. Ew. Like I never want to eat Zen Bowl ever again. Ew. This one's really bad. Look at this. Actually really really thick so the process takes a little bit longer with my hair it took three hours just to bleach it um, that's how thick my hair is so it's really really short um, but I'm actually kind of liking it I was prepared to go short because I knew that my hair had a lot of damage to the ends um, my ends were disgusting they looked completely like rice noodles. There was no pigment in them whatsoever. I mean, they were yellow, but they were also really clear. Like when I say rice noodles, I mean rice noodles. It was disgusting. But this is gorgeous. I could not be any happier with the outcome of this. I've always loved having colored hair. Like just for me, I feel more myself when my hair is different colors. Um, I've never done something this extreme before, usually I would do like pink and black, like that was like my signature look in high school. I always had pink and black hair, um, but I've never had four different colors going into my hair at once, and I'm obsessed. Like, I just, I look like zebra gum, <laughs> you know? But there's pink in there, there's purple, there's teal, and there's blue. Um, a lot of the teal you can see right up in here. And then I have some blue in here and some pink 
and my roots are purple, but I am like, I am so obsessed with this. I am so excited. I was worried about the length of my hair because, you know, you cut your hair and then it's like you love it, but then you kind of instantly regret it, you know? But honestly, right now, I'm not regretting a single thing. I am so excited. I could not be any happier. My hairstylist was amazing. Well, she is amazing, not that she was amazing. Um, I will continue to go to her as well, and I will have her Instagram uh, linked down below because she is amazing. If you live in the Ridgecrest, California area, I really suggest going to Deidre at Madison Avenue. She worked magic on my hair. You guys saw the before of what my hair looked like, and this is how it came out. Like, can we freaking talk about it? It is so gorgeous. I can't get over it. Like, I could sit here and just play with my hair all day. But anyways, um, so yeah, this is the final hair transformation from what I what I went from to this. I mean, there's just, there's no com comparison. Do not do your hair at home, people, okay? Just don't do it. I used to do it all the time, and it always came out okay, but for some reason, this go-around, my hair just was completely against me. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and show you guys, so this is it. This is lovely. I am so excited. It has so much volume and there's so many layers. I don't know, I feel like this just completely suits me. But anyways, I will stop rambling. Um, I will definitely be uploading a lot more videos. So I don't have anything else to say, except I love you guys and I really hope you like this transformation. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and like this video. Um, go follow Deidre on her Instagram, and if you live in the same area, make an appointment with her because you will not regret it. I didn't regret it one 